Those assistant uh, to the president for energy and climate change, Carol Brown, she was here, of course, a few minutes ago in Morning Joe with us now. I want to get his reaction. Republican senator from Florida, Senator George Lemieux. You know, Senator, you go up to Washington and everything seems to be black and white, red state, blue state. But of course, you know, as a Floridian, when you start talking about the environment, when you start talking about water quality, when you start talking about pollution, suddenly even the most conservative person there sounds like a raging environmentalist because they want their environment to be protected. In Pensacola, we're concerned about all the dispersants that have been dumped into the Gulf. Are you? I am, Joe, and I've heard the same thing from the fishermen and the residents uh, in Pensacola, Panama City, all along the Gulf Coast there. Two million gallons, approximately, of dispersant that were pumped into the Gulf of Mexico. We need more research about what that's doing underneath the water. Is it getting into the marine life? Uh, it's a real shame. It should never have happened. What we should have done is use the plans that were on the shelf that got ignored to try to burn more of that oil immediately. As we've talked about many times, those foreign skimmers should have been on site right away, domestic skimmers on site right away, skimming it up. Maybe we could have used a lot less dispersant if the job would have been handled right from the first. Well, you know, George, uh, even uh, six weeks ago or so, we were talking to EPA officials and also talking to Thad Allen, and they let us know. We don't know what the long-term impact of all these dispersants being dumped in the Gulf is going to be on the environment. Uh, and yet, even after the president issued a directive to stop the use of dispersants, Thad Allen, we find out this past week, kept using them every day, claimed an emergency and kept using them. Well, I know he did, and, and that's going to have to be looked into. Uh, Thad Allen's a good man, but there was a directive, and he went on his own and made that decision. But look, it's all part of one administration, so I don't think it's fair to say Thad Allen was doing something that the White House didn't know about. I'm sure well, that yeah, they all made I mean, the decision the, the together. Yeah, yeah, right, Senator. Of course, obviously, the White House knew what was going on. You're exactly right there. Uh, so, uh, so, Senator, I guess at this point, now that the chemicals have already been dumped in there, and the fishermen I talked to were concerned about what happens when the molecules break down, when the oil breaks down, it gets on into microorganisms, it gets into the food chain, and who knows, maybe the shrimp we eat uh, is going to be polluted for some time to come. I guess, wh what can we do now about it now that the chemicals are in the Gulf? Well, we have to keep studying it, Joe. We need to have the folks at University of South Florida and Moat Marine and the other folks that have been looking at these plumes of oil along with dispersants underneath the water in the Gulf to find out what's really going on. We're not gonna be able to forget about it today or tomorrow. We're gonna to need to make sure that BP is adequately funding all of the research so that if there is a problem down the line, we know about it and they can help resolve it. And most importantly, we can never let this happen again. And those plans that were on the shelf that we didn't follow last time to burn the oil quickly and to, and to have skimmers come quickly, we need to make sure that they're followed next time, that there is a ready plan, ready to be taken off the shelf to be implemented. God forbid this ever happens again. Ariana Huffington, has the Huffington Post uh, dug into this about the dispersants and the potential dangers? Uh, are we just, uh, as Florida residents, overreacting to all of this? I don't think so, Joe, at all. And it's interesting to, to have uh, Senator Lemire here and you uh, sounding much more environmentally concerned uh, than Carl Browner and the administration. I think this is another of those beyond left and right moments when the people on the ground, the people most affected by what happened, are also most concerned about all the uncertainties here. And there is no amount of quote unquote rigorous style study that Carl Brunner was talking about before the dispersants were allowed uh, that can convince us because it wasn't rigorous enough. If it had been rigorous, it would not have been uh, overturned so soon after it was issued when um, basically the EPA called on BP to stop using that amount of dispersants. Yeah, and you know, Pat Buchanan, we've been talking about it for some time here. Mika's been talking about it for some time, and I hope this doesn't offend anybody in the White House, but it's a political reality, and if it does offend them, they're in the wrong profession. Pat, Mika's talked about when they started dumping all of those dispersants about her concern, and I hear it all across Florida too, that they were more interested in breaking up the oil for political reasons than environmental reasons. They didn't want Florida beaches coated with oil, and it was, they were desperate to break it up 
before it hit the sands of Pensacola Beach and Fort Walton and Destin, right. Panama it City, was just all a of those skeptical areas. Skeptical response to right. their, you know, right, Joe. But let me, let me say, Joe. Uh, you know, that's exactly right. I understand the purposes, which are good purposes, but you raised a very important point. You just talked about the shrimp down the road. Let me tell you, I go down to the eastern shore, Maryland. My buddies I work with years ago have got a crab house down there. He told me he gets his crabs. He gets all the crabs from or in the early part of the year from down there in the Gulf. And you're talking about potential long term damage to the food and the wildlife, I mean, to the marine life and all the rest of it, I'd ask the senator, Senator, do we have a damage assessment right now as to what harm's been done as of now, even while we're watching for the long term? Well, Pat, the EPA came out last week and said that based upon their test of the dispersant, that it is no more toxic than the oil that it was trying to break up. But I think, frankly, it's way too soon to make that determination. And that's why a lot of the universities in Florida have been engaged to do this analysis. We need to make sure that analysis is seen through. We're not going to know the answer today in August. We need to know what the answer is in the months going forward, what the long term effects are so we can give the clear sign right, that everything's OK with that seafood. Mm -hmm. Senator, to be fair, though, from what you're hearing and from what we're hearing from the EPA and the White House, and let's make sure we're all on the same page, there doesn't appear to be any problem with the dispersants. Are you hearing anything different? That's what the EPA is saying, but I think that it's way too soon. What they've done is they've tested the dispersant in the oil and they've said, look, the dispersant is no more toxic than the oil. Uh, you know, I'm mm -hmm. not, first of all, the oil's toxic, the dispersant may break down differently than the oil. It may be absorbed by the marine life differently than the oil. It's going to take a longer period of time to make that evaluation, in my okay. opinion. And, and, and let me just say, I, I read their, the EPA summary when we got it sent to us from the White House. And I'm just sorry, it is counterintuitive to say that oil standing alone is equally toxic to oil and a million plus gallons of chemicals on top of it. That's like saying it's one plus zero is one. It's not. The, the, I, the, so it takes a while and I've got to go back because this is something we were talking about day in and day out a decade ago. Arianna Huffington after 9-11. People kept pushing the EPA. Are you sure it is safe for the people working down at ground zero to be working down there? And one EPA study after another found that it was fine. That's why I'm a little gun shy. And, and that's why Mika's gun shy, because she knows people that were working there that died. She walked around with a mask from the first day because she said it just didn't seem right. But are we supposed to just sit back and trust a government that hasn't shot straight before? No, but also, you know, Joe, th this is a moment for everyone to look uh, beyond deep sea oil drilling. And, and I'd love to know what Senator Lemieux thinks about that. I mean. Is there any way that we can make this process safe? There clearly isn't. And why not put our energy and our focus and our resources into renewable energy, which will free us up from other disasters like this? Yes, hey, George, yes, uh, yes. Senator, yes. Senator Lemieux, I'm going to probably be going down to Pensacola in the next couple days. I want to see what they're saying on the ground. I hope you'll come on. It'll be Friday from Pensacola. Can you come on Friday and talk to us about it? I'd love to do it, Joe. Thank you. Okay, Senator George Lemieux, we appreciate it. In a few minutes, Independent Senator Bernie Sanders is going to be with us. But first, Willie, you got the important news.